Do you ever stop and think about how Japan does some of the weirdest yet coolest stuff? In fact, Japan is kind of known for doing this. They have produced countless ideas that seem weird at first, but are actually pretty awesome when you think about it. As for the square watermelon, however, I'm not sure where that one lands. Watermelons are usually round, so how does one end up square? Well, the answer is surprisingly easy. All you need is a box. Yes, you could actually do this yourself. See, when a growing watermelon is still small, a glass box is placed around it, resulting in the watermelon growing into the box and thus growing into the shape of a square. Well, technically a cube, but whatever. This process was invented by graphic designer Tomoyuki Ono in 1978 as a way to make watermelons easier to store in refrigerators. The Japanese, as well as most people with working taste buds, love watermelon. In Japan, they're a common gift fruit during the summer. What's a gift fruit, you ask? Well, it's a fruit that you gift. Yeah, okay, I'll actually explain it. Fruit gifting is a cultural thing in certain parts of Japan. In Japanese culture, seasons are important and fruit are believed to be good representations of seasons because fruit tends to be, well, seasonal. Watermelon tends to be associated with summer, so it gets gifted during summer months. While common watermelons and other fruit is gifted, the more impressive the fruit, the more important the gift, which is why luxury fruit is a big deal. See, while the square, or cube, watermelon was invented for practicality, in order to produce one, you need to harvest it before it's ripe, which means it's not really suitable for eating, which is why in most Western countries, we don't really see odd-shaped watermelons that often because they're not practical. However, in Japan, these square watermelons fall perfectly into the luxury fruit culture. Luxury fruit in Japan is a serious business, with farmers developing their own varieties and techniques to get the perfect fruit going to extremes to make sure that their buyers are getting nothing short of excellence. While these watermelons might not be great for eating, not all luxury fruits are like that. In fact, taste plays a big role in a lot of these, with taste being a big part of what makes certain fruits so costly. Speaking of our cube melon here, this fruit can sell for as much as 200 US dollars in American markets, since they're not that common here, while selling for around $70 in Japanese markets. That's still three times the average price of watermelon in Japan. While that might seem crazy, that's not even the most expensive luxury fruit you can buy in Japan. Yubari King Melons, a cultivar of cantaloupe by the way, have sold for tens of thousands of US dollars, with new records being broken all the time for various luxury fruits. What do you think about square melons? Want to grow one for yourself? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and until next time, take care.